Okay, I wanted to point a couple of things out to you um, just because I know I've gone really quickly and it's always good to review. I'm going to comment this out. Okay, If I do that, if I put a forward slash star and then a star forward slash, that makes turns off this. So remember our preloader bar, right? I'm going to set the X scale to 50 just to show you how it works. Okay, do you see it? Did you see it move over there? Now it's 50, right? So the X scale affects its um, X properties and normal would be 100. Uh, that would make it be normal so we just it goes across the whole length like it would normally, right? And um, you know I could set it to 30 which is essentially standing for 30 percent, right? So now the X scale is 30 percent for our bar, right? So the first thing we do is set it to zero, right? And uh, you know that's that's probably a smart thing to do. Okay. Um, the other thing I could do is I've got this code functioning on this um, keyframe right here, right? And I want to look at my background layer. I want to optimize this thing a little bit more. Okay. Let me see here if I can drag this down. Okay. I think I'm going to try to optimize this a little bit more. I'm going to move this code. Well, I can move this code to let's say frame 2 and I could take this line here and cut it control X and paste it here so the first thing that will happen when our movie loads is the bar the bar here inside a preloader there is a movie another movie clip called bar oops it's locked wanted to highlight it to show you name bar and so that will get reduced to zero on keyframe one right and then um, and then the rest of the code then we'll stop the movie right and execute the rest of the code let me get rid of that and I put some spaces in here I don't have to have these spaces I just was trying to make it you know fairly readable for you so we we get the total amount of our movie we get how much we've um, loaded we you do some math to turn it into a percent we set our bar equal the the size of our bar equal to that percent and then when percent equals 100 we move our movie forward so um, and then another thing that we could do is um, for this text box, I'm going to change it to static text, and I'm also going to change the um, the font to let's say like a sans font, and maybe lower the size or something like that, right? So now it's static text, and um, if you wanted to put um, like a dynamic text here. Let me show you how to do that. If you wanted some, well, I'll just scroll down here. What I could do is I could take my text box and let's see here, type something um, percent, right? It's going to go there. You know, move it down. Right now, this is static text, right? Okay, so I'll click on it and change it to dynamic text. All right, so now then I will make it bigger, the box bigger. I'm going to have it align right. Okay, so align right. And I'm going to give it an instance name of. Um, percent underscore txt so and then I'll hit enter to make sure that text so now this dynamic text box has a name called um, percent underscore txt so it has an instance name just like a movie clip can have an instance name once again our dynamic text box has an instance name right and now what I can do is I can go back to my code and right after I set my preloader bar equal to percent I can set the text box 
So I'll say preloader dot inside the preloader movie clip is a preloader underscore txt text box. Right? There's not just the bar inside the preloader movie clip, but there's also this text box. And I can say uh, dot, I have to do dot text. Okay, that's its property that I'm going to set equal to percent, right? And yeah, I think that's going to work. So hit control enter and view simulate download. And it's not working. Okay, that's a bummer. So we say, uh, what's the problem? Well, is this what is the name of this box? Okay, preloader. Inside the box is named percent underscore txt. Right? I did. I put preloader txt. So I'll say, oh, that's wrong. Percent underscore txt and give it another shot view simulate download see it's 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 loading so quickly let's change this to 56k and go view simulate download and we'll see what happens and I'm not pleased with the way it's not showing up right away that is a problem then. Oh, there it goes. It kind of doesn't really cut in until 65. But there it is. You can see it loading. It's loading really slow as if as if you had a modem, right? This would be this is how long it would take to load. It's uh, flash can simulate how long it's going to the movie would load if you had uh, a dial-up situation, dial-up modem, right? Loading 89, 90, you know, okay, good. How did we do that? View, download settings 56k and then simulate download. All right. The other thing I can do is I can say, well, make it equal to percent plus, and then in quotation marks, a space, and then a percentage sign, right? And what I'm going to need to do, of course, is probably stretch this text box out a little bit more to make room for mul multiple characters. All right, and now I'll give it a try and view. I'm going to go to DSL so we don't take so long. View, simulate download. And now you have the percent sign in there too. And so it's showing you that loading information. Now the fact that it starts at 60 is not so cool, but oh well. I'll fix that later. Um, so how did I do that? Well, what I did was preloader dot percent underscore text. Go into the preloader movie clip look for this dynamic text box, set its text property equal to the variable percent plus this string, meaning a space and then a percentage sign characters. So that's how that worked. And anyway, and then you're done. Um, the, um, you know, if, if, uh, if it's not loading fast enough or not showing up right away, you know, I, I'm not sure exactly what you could do to make that seem better. Maybe I could put like how to optimize it, insert a blank keyframe here, so so that your preloader bar doesn't show up past frame two. And uh, you know, we don't have much going on here, so I don't. I am not quite sure why it doesn't show up till 65%. So I have to probably play with that. Maybe I could take this text box here instead of text maybe this is too uh, cumbersome for flash player I could break it apart control B control B again so now instead of text the loading word it's actually just a shape and then I could hit control enter and give it a shot see if it shows up and that showed up slightly quicker actually at 60 percent so that's not so bad all right, thanks everybody. That should be your preloader. You should set up this preloader so that you have a more dynamic situation. I might even come back and show you another way to do a preloader if you wanted a more advanced. Here's one that I did before where um, you can go view, simulate download. Instead of growing your um, bar, you could grow a mask. And so your mask grows and then um, 
and then you see the mass get bigger and as the mass gets bigger you see something fade in so that's pretty cool maybe I'll show you how to do that alright bye well is this